All right, so we're going to start the show on a little bit of a somber note. I say a little bit because, uh, you know, we're going to start off with a rest in peace to Harry Belafonte. Yes, the icon. Yes, he died from, I believe it was congestive heart failure at the ripe old age of, was it 96? He lived a very good life. Yes, so he had the pleasure of living a very long life. Uh, Actor, singer, activist, popularizing Calypso music uh, in the 1950s. Uh, some of his movies include, uh, I believe it was like Carmen Jones, 1954, uh, Island in the Sun. I'm going to read some of the, oh, he was in Up, uh, Uptown Sa- uh, Saturday Night. We, uh, I, I know I've seen that a few times with Sidney Poitier and Bill Cosby. Uh, Odds Against Tomorrow. And his final screen appearance was in Spike Lee's Black Klansman in 2018. Uh, in addition to that, uh, Belafonte was a mentore to Paul Robeson. He was mentored by Paul Robeson uh, and was also a close confidant of Martin Luther King Jr. during the civil rights movement of the 50s and 60s and was a vocal critic against George W. Bush and the Trump administration. So he spoke up for the people. And finally, he was one of the few people to do the EGOT thing where he got Grammy, an Emmy, a Tony, and an Oscar. So he's one of those few uh, to collect all the prestigious awards for performance. So rest in peace to Harry Belafonte, a true legend. Um, Also, we are going to take time to give another rest in peace shout out to Jerry Springer, who passed away uh, in Chicago after a brief bout with pancreatic cancer. So rest in peace, Jerry Springer. Um, I'm sure everybody Everybody is familiar with Jerry Springer. We grew up on him in the 90s. Me personally, I remember watching Jerry in high school from 95 to 99. Those were my years in high school. Yeah, so I'm telling my age. But Springer used to come on in the daytime when we were at school, but they would always show a replay at 11 p.m. late night. So that's when I would catch it. And that shit would come on all day for the most part. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, as it came on later. Now, I, re- I specifically remember in like 97 and 98, staying up till 11 p.m. to watch it um, because that was the time I caught it. I don't remember it playing any other day except in the daytime. But... I liked the show when it first came on. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed the Jerry Springer show. But it was wild. Wild. It was Extremely unique. Wild. It set the tone for Mari. Um, <laughs> Man. Now, one thing I will say that I have been noticing is um, there have been a lot of people on Facebook timelines and social media, especially today, damn near breaking down in tears over Jerry Springer and a lot of people not giving proper due to Harry Belafonte. It's kind of crazy. And then I saw the excuses some people were stating is that they grew up with Jerry, but they didn't grow up with Harry Belafonte and watching them. And it's it's just weird that a person would be that dismissive because this is a guy that was right there with MLK. You know, so this isn't just some actor from the 50s and 60s. And nor do I expect people my age to know every single movie or every single thing he's done. Not every single. But it it, it did kind of shock me at the lack of knowledge people had just in general towards Harry Belafonte when... But it's not even... Yeah. I can't even say it's just like Harry Belafonte or Jerry. It's just Jerry was more known to them. Yeah, yeah. I mean... So it's like, it's a whole... it's just weird because they didn't know anything about Harry Belafonte. That that was the part that bothered me because I, I don't know a great deal about Harry Belafonte. I mean, I I knew he was an activist. I knew he did day or, uh, you know, and I knew he did movies. Yeah, because everybody knows that song. It's it's on. The, they do it in the NBA. Of course. So I mean, you're familiar with his music. Uh, you know, I I can't sit here and say, I've seen Carmen Jones, but. I'm not the biggest fan of, like, Harry Belafonte movies. I don't know. I haven't seen all of his movies. I've seen maybe two or three of them. But I knew who he was and what he did. I didn't know every single achievement, but I knew of what he did. And that's, you know, that's that, that kind of weirded me out that people my age, my age, people in their 40s weren't familiar at all with Harry Belafonte. That kind of disturbed me. 
we live in a time with Google. Like, again, I'm not expecting everybody to know. Think about the internet and 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 what a lot of people post about in general. Yeah, I know. I just in general. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I get it. It it just kind of weirded me out because besides, like I said, being an entertainer, he was a civil rights activist. It's like, you know Malcolm X, you know MLK, you know Jesse Jackson, Stokely Carmichael. I mean, Harry Belafonte is right there there with with all those people. So that's why it kind of weirded me out that people, black people my age weren't at least familiar with some of the work he did and why he was relevant to us. So that kind of bothered me a little bit. Uh, but, you know, uh, hey, you can't tell people what to pr- uh, value, you know. Yeah, exactly. um, 